We are, of course, talking shin pads, the piece of equipment that we don't really think about, we don't spend that much money on, we probably spend more money on our socks than we do on our shin pads, and realistically, we kind of look at them as pieces of equipment that we're forced to wear because the referee told us so. Today, I'm going to show you a pair of shin pads that are at the cutting edge of technology and might just change your mind. So of course, shape and fit are super important to a pair of shin guards, and that's why I really like that these come in right and left labeled shin guards. It's not something you get with cheaper options, it just means they're more anatomically shaped. These, they do not come with a sock sleeve. So a lot of shin pads, including ones I've previously used, do come with a little sleeve that locks them in to your shin. These, however, do not, so you either need your own or because they don't come with them today, we're going to be just sliding them into my socks. So as you can see, they slide in nice and easy and they don't really move around a lot. But again, I do have decent socks on here, which does help, but I would advise getting a pair of shin sleeves to hold them in more securely, which again is something that I do use. Something that has pretty much impressed me very well is the curvature of the shin guard. It really does fit around my shin very well. Again, this could be personal. Like you may find that this particular shape of shin guard doesn't suit you because that's how shin pads work. But you can see this fits my shin shape perfectly and these the EVA foam compresses in, it fits me really nicely. And part of the reason that these fit so well is that to a degree you can get a custom size with Carbon Athletic, which I really, really like. If you go online to their website, there are templates for each of the sizes of the shin guards they have available. You can take that template, print it, cut it out and apply it to your shin and you can see size wise how that's going to fit on your shin. Obviously the curvature will depend, but size wise that's super useful to have. I have gone for a size large because that's what suits me the best. Now again, I know a lot of you are going to want much smaller shin guards. You can go on the website, print out that template and see how small those shin guards are and whether they're going to suit you or not. So these retail for, I'm going to be honest here, 50 to 60 Australian dollars. Now, if you go on their website and you're looking to buy a pair of these, it will constantly say that there is a one day only sale at 40 to 50% off. Now, that's simply not true and I don't like this. I don't like this idea of trying to dupe customers into thinking your product is more premium or worth more money than it actually is. Quite simply, if you're retailing your product for 60 Australian dollars, then state it's 60 Australian dollars. So there's nothing wrong with the price and these are, as far as I'm aware, the most affordable carbon fiber shin guard on the market right now. But like I say, don't be fooled by the discount information that is on the website. So these are super premium looking. They have that carbon fiber look on the front because the front is carbon fiber. So this is a carbon fiber shell that covers the entire front of the shin pad, which is fantastic. However, when you spin that round, you do have just a standard EVA foam backing. Now, there's nothing wrong with this, but it's nothing special. And I would have liked to have seen something a little bit better, a little bit more impressive from something that is carbon fiber so you've got a really premium facade a really premium front and don't get me wrong this works the idea of carbon fiber shin pads is fantastic this is an incredibly strong incredibly good material at absorbing energy but the EVA foam on the back is not the greatest it feels fairly cheap 
when you get like sweaty, when that kind of lines in, you do get that kind of gross inner feeling to the shin pads. It's simply not the best and it's not breathable. These are an extremely lightweight shin guard. So it's, it's incredibly windy out here. My scales won't settle. So on the scales, they weigh in at about 56 to 60 grams, depending on how windy it is where you are. So it's a very lightweight shin guard and it has a very slim profile. These do not stick out or have a huge amount of bulk that is associated with them. And as I alluded to earlier, that is something that we are all going to appreciate because generally shin guards are seen as a bit of a chore. So for these to be low profile and lightweight, it's something you can slide in and you can pretty much forget about. So are these worth your 60 Australian dollars or your 40 euros? And quite simply, that's a very personal question. Are you willing to spend that money? Are shin pads something that you value? For me, the answer is yes. I would normally spend around 30 euros on a pair of shin pads anyway. So to spend 40 and get something that's carbon fiber, I think is worth it. And it really only comes down to one reason. And it's nothing you're gonna find in the tech specs of any shin guard. That one reason, quite simply, is confidence. A pair of shin guards that I know are going to protect me properly in almost any situation is going to give me more confidence. If I'm going in for a 50-50 ball, if I've got a heavy challenge coming in and I want to skip around it, if I'm wearing something that I know is going to protect me, it's going to give me confidence. Maybe that 50-50 ball turns into a 51-49 in my favor, and for me, that's worth it. Because knowing I've got carbon fiber protecting my shins gives me that confidence. Now these shin guards are not perfect. I don't particularly like the EVA foam on the back, and while it seems to have reasonably good energy dissipation properties, I don't like the way it feels after a long session of playtime. It gets grimy, it gets slippy, it gets sweaty. There's not enough breathability here. But when you consider that the alternative for the top end carbon shin guard is probably something like a C6 agility guard, which I have to admit, I prefer to this. But when you look at the prices, a C6 agility card can cost you two or three times more than the carbon athletic one, and you're getting a very similar level of protection. These really do what you're gonna expect them to do. They provide you with carbon fiber level protection at a price you can potentially afford. So it looks like these are gonna be my shin guards of choice for the remainder of the season, but let me know down in the comments. Would you spend 40 euros, 60 Australian dollars on a pair of shin guards? Do you think that's good value for money if they are carbon fiber? Remember to like this video, it helps the channel out a huge amount. Get subscribed if you haven't done already for all of our football boot and football equipment content. But that's everything here from Boot Wizard today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one. See you soon.